Hey everybody, it's Elena. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, before we get into today's look, I'm gonna ask you to go down and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so every time I post a video, you guys are gonna be the first to find out. Today's look is gonna be all about that dewy summer glow that everybody wants. I am a big, big fan of cream products in the summer for an everyday go-to quick application. I know that I'm gonna be sweating, so why fight the sunlight? You remember that song, Can't Fight the Moonlight by it was in the movie Coyote Ugly. Well, this, you can't fight the sunlight. You're gonna be sweating, we have no choice, so we just have to accept it and work with it. So this is gonna be an all cream application. I use one powder just around my nose to kind of set it, but this is mostly cream products. This is really easy. This is something that you guys can do every day. So many of my clients ask me all the time, how am I gonna do my makeup? It's gonna sweat off. Well, you know what? Here are some of my favorite go-tos. I wanna share them with you guys. So if you want to find out how to get this look, keep on watching. So first and foremost, I always tell my clients, if you have a really special day, and it is in the middle of summer or actually even in winter because we're really dehydrated, make sure that you are hydrated. This says 5 p.m. and I am at 6.41, so I'm obviously not doing an amazing job at staying hydrated, but, but I'm going to try and finish this <laughs> before this video is over. Okay, so first step, drinking water, making sure that you are very hydrated. So I know if I have an event that I'm getting ready for and it's gonna be outside, it's gonna be a really long day, I always self tan the night before. This is my absolute favorite tanner. This brand is Vita Liberata, I am obsessed with this. This is the Body Blur Sunless Go. It's like the perfect bronzy brown the smell is not bad at all. It does not smell like your regular old self tanners. I know that I'm talking a lot before I start this makeup, but these are all really important factors if you want to look flawless throughout the whole day. Follow these and you will. So for my brows, I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Gel Brow. This color is medium brown. And I'm gonna be using this because this is really long lasting. I'm not gonna have to worry about it. It's waterproof. I can go in the ocean with it or I can go in a pool or I can just sweat through it. I always like to press in the front. It just kind of helps to soften everything and not make my brow look super fake. This is such a difference to me. I feel so much better with a full brow on. And, and to be honest, when you're wearing minimal makeup and when you're in the bright sunlight, to have really strong powdery brows, I think sometimes looks so fake and up close, it's just like a big no-no for me. Okay, my brows are done. Now let's get started on skin. So for my foundation, I'm gonna be using the Good Apple Foundation. As you guys know, this went viral on TikTok for a few months. I don't know if it's still trending. I have been back at work, so I've been pretty busy. So my nighttime routine of watching TikToks has come to an end temporarily. I'm just so tired, so I fall right asleep. So the reason that I'm using this foundation is because it is gonna give me the right amount of coverage that I really want but it's also going to just melt into the skin. It's technically a balm. It's not really a super heavy foundation. I don't wanna use anything matte. I think the biggest mistake that people make when they think about makeup for summer is that they need to put on powder and do everything matte, and it is the complete opposite. When you put something dry and something matte on, it's just gonna end up separating and you're not gonna be able to fix it throughout the day. Like I said, this spray, you can fix, refresh, so throughout the day, if you start to feel like you get a little bit cakey or things start to separate, just give yourself a spritz and tap in with the beauty blend. The creams will melt into the skin and make blending and your touch up so much easier, I promise. Okay, so my foundation is done. You can definitely still see through this foundation, you can see my freckles, you can see my skin up close. I'm not gonna be self-conscious that I'm wearing too much makeup. This foundation can get very, very thick, but if you apply it with a beauty sponge, it is gonna be so sheer and so buildable. So the next thing that I'm gonna do before my concealer is I'm going to be using this Blur Luminosity. This is also by Vita Liberata. These two products are amazing. You can mix them with foundation, you can mix them with body lotion. They just give like the ultimate glow, sheen. There's one in rose and there's one in gold. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of this. I'm gonna be popping a little bit on my beauty sponge and I'm just gonna go on top, kind of on my cheeks, down the nose, a little bit on my eyes. Okay, so that's just giving me a little glow. I'm gonna do some concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Dolly. Oh, hi. Did you come to say hi? I heard you crying outside. Okay, give me a kiss. Okay, so this is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. 
I'm just hitting this down the nose, a little bit of my dark spots here, and then under the eyes. I'm fully concealer obsessed, but for the look that I am going for, the last thing that I want is to be like super creased under my eyes. So I'm just applying it really minimally. And I'm buffing it in. I have a very soft touch. I don't want to move the product around too much because I really do want it to lighten and brighten under the eyes. All right, next thing that I want to talk about is cream bronzers. These are my favorite cream bronzers ever. The Chanel Mousse bronzer. A little bit of a lighter color. It's more of like a soft, like warmer brown. I'm not going to be using that one today, but I do love that one. Then the next one that I love is the By Terry. This looks really, really gross, but um, it's pretty old. It's called Copper Coffee, and it has like a dark brown color and then a coppery color. So when you mix them together, it's like the prettiest bronzy orange. Sorry. It's okay. Pop a little bit that I'm actually going to pop a little bit of this on my lips because I like that kind of copper frosty glow on my lips. And then just take it down a little bit. And the newest bronzer to my addition is the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer. I don't know if this just came out, but I was in the NARS store the other day and the lovely people that were in there directed me towards this. They have one, um, they have a Laguna and Casino. I ended up going with a Laguna because it's a little bit more brown instead of more red. And I already have the Chanel one that's a little bit more red, even though it's lighter. So let's use this. So the brush that I'm going to be using is actually the, the NARS brush that they recommended me to use. So I'm just gonna put a little, take a little bit of this out, pop it on my hand, because sometimes with these creams, I actually like to mix it on my hand first because it's a little bit, because it like melts in. I mean, look how brown and beautiful that is. So like that's super copper, and then this is just like a really beautiful brown. So I'm gonna start just applying this right on to my cheekbones. And again, I'm just pressing this into the skin. Ooh, Ooh it smells good too. It smells like the, the NARS oil. Ugh, everything smells so summery and great. All right, so I'm pressing this in and this is just gonna look so pretty throughout the day Like it's just gonna keep melting into the skin You're never gonna look cakey or creasy and I'm just taking my beauty sponge and just kind of pressing it all in So I look nice and tan, but I don't look like too made up then with a the little flat brush I'm just gonna do a little bit on my nose And because I won't go anywhere without lip liner around my lips. Next thing that I'm going to do is my eyes. I'm going to be using this Ilia Liquid Powder Chromatic Eye Tint. And this color is Mythic. I don't know really how to describe this color. It's like a pinky nude. And the reason that I'm using this is because it goes on like a liquid, but it does dry down. So you're not going to have creasing. It's going to be on all day. I mean, ideally, I would love to use like a cream eyeshadow, but within an hour, that's going to be creased. So I would opt for something more like this. That's going to just have a little bit more of a long wear finish. So I'm just kind of putting it all over. I'm going to go underneath the eyes a little bit. And again, for underneath the eyes, you definitely want something that's not gonna move around. I'm using way too big of a brush, but you know, I don't wanna make this like too long of a video. Next step, I'm gonna be using the Joa Lash Uprising Primer. And the reason that I'm using a primer, it's just gonna help my mascara to keep my lashes in place all day. I'm not gonna have any fallout, I'm not gonna have any flaking, and I'm not gonna have my mascara running down my face. And the reason that I know this is because yesterday, I went to a baby shower and I was outside in the heat all day and when I got in the car I was like oh, yes girl your mascara did not even run and it was hot out so don't skip on the lash primer these are the only things that we're doing on our face like a little bit of eyeshadow mascara if you do a primer your lashes are definitely going to stay on all day. It also helps just to obviously like lift your lashes, give them a little bit of a boost, kind of give the mascara something to grip onto. My lashes look so full. This is exactly the look I was going for. So the next step I'm gonna be doing is some cream blush. This is by Ilia. This is the color At Last. And this is a very pinky blush, but I feel like it makes me look like I was out in the sun all day. Like I love 
that really sun-kissed look. So I'm just gonna really OD on it. And again, it's a cream. You guys, I'm using only creams for this look. I'm gonna use powder in like the slightest bit. And like, don't be afraid to really pack it on. And you can even take a little bit and just kind of pop it like on your eyes. I'm gonna take a little bit of powder. This is the LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Powder. And I'm just gonna go right in here. I'm not even going underneath my eyes. I'm just going around my nose and like a drop in here. Super, super minimal, just to kind of give a little bit of matte around the nose, because I feel like if around your nose looks shiny, then the rest of your face looks shiny. If that's kind of matte, everything else just falls into place. For my lips, um, I'm obsessed with these NARS lipsticks. These are the Afterglow Lip Balm. This color, they have a bunch of different colors, but this one is Orgasm, which is like a soft pink, named after the blush one. And we have Torrid, also named after the blush. This is like, I think I'm gonna do Torrid. It's a really pretty orange. This one is called Wicked Ways. It's like a dark kind of plum. Also really, really pretty. So I'm obsessed with these guys. They look so good on. So we're gonna be using Torrid. This is just gonna finish off the look. I might put a little bit on my cheeks too, just to kind of mix with that pink. Okay guys, so this is it. This is my very quick summer everyday go-to look. I can do this in literally under eight minutes and be ready for the day and not feel like I'm gonna melt off. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna make sure to link all of the products down below and don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below, tell me what kind of issues you guys are struggling with throughout summer makeup because it got hot really, really fast here. So. Stay hydrated and I will see you guys in the next one.